Well, I'm here again at the Ljubljana airport. Those of you who have watched my previous video will know exactly where I am. Those of you who haven't, then I recommend that you go check out my first video to see more about this airport. I'll stick a link up to that right now. But um, those of you who have seen the previous video will, will remember that I mentioned there were mountains behind the airport. Well, today you can see them. It's a beautiful evening. It's pretty clear over the mountains now. A little bit of cloud. There's a couple of little peaks that those clouds are hiding, but hopefully later on they'll clear a bit and you'll see them too. It's a beautiful evening. Now, uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, you get, as well as the commercial airlines, you get a lot of regional private planes, light aircraft coming in and out of this airport too. And consequently, you also get a lot of uh, propeller planes coming in. So what I thought I'd do today in this video is we'll experiment with some different shutter speeds to see the different effects those different shutter speeds give on the propellers. So obviously the slower the shutter speed, the more motion blur you'll get. Now I mentioned in the last video that I was shooting at 1 800th and 1 1000th of a second to, because the planes are moving relatively fast. If you, want to, if you want some motion blur on the propellers, then we need to slow that shutter speed down a bit. So we, we saw some in my last video at 1 800th. Uh, I should put a picture up now that I've just shot of a, a small, light, uh, small plane coming in, which I shot at 1 500th of a second. And as more come in, we'll shoot at different shutter speeds. So the next one that comes in, I'll take it down to 1 250 and then try to take it down to 1 1 2 5 and then beyond. One's coming in now. Not sure if it's a prop or not. That was a prop. So I shot that one at 1 250th of a second. I'll stick the picture up there now so you can see. So there you can see on that picture, much more motion blur on those propellers at 1 250th of a second. There's another one coming in, if this is a prop. We'll take this one down to 1 1 2 5th of a second. We can't go much slower than that. Even at 125th of a second, we might get some blur on the plane. We want to avoid blurring the actual plane itself and just putting some motion blur on the propeller and freezing the plane. So we need to find that happy medium between the two. So there you have an example of uh, one uh, plane shot at 250th of a second and one shot at 125th of a second. I'll put the two up side by side so we can compare how the propellers look. Now the problem is that when you, when you go down to 1125th, you start getting problems like some of the photos I took when I was spinning around and trying to take shots I got too much uh, camera shake you know it's quite difficult especially with a big heavy lens like this um, but still you know a couple of them a couple of the straight on ones I got were were pretty sharp okay so there you have it for shooting the propellers on the airplanes, it seems that uh, 2 50th or 1 2 5th of a second are very good. 1 500th is good too, but you want to get a bit more motion, a bit more definition there, then uh, I think 
one two fiftieth seemed to work really well. 125th of a second worked well too, but bear in mind it can be very, very tricky to make sure that you don't get too much camera shake overall, especially if you're shooting with a big, heavy lens like this. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this and I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.